Welcome back to the den. Hey, so what I wanted to go over with really quickly is the Amazon platforms. It's fourth quarter. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are rocking it. But have you ever considered, however you thought, of opening up, and let's get that out of my eyeball, have opening up the Canadian side of the Amazon platforms. Now, it's a separate platform up there in Canada. So in North America, there's three. There's the Canadian, the, the .com Amazon here in the United States, and then there's the Amazon.mx.com or whatever it is. It's something to that effect. Uh, a lot of people don't open that up, and I would highly recommend that you would look into the Canadian platform of Amazon. Uh, there have been in the last 11 months since we started Amazon been a, not a surge, but there's been a consistent purchasing uh, power that Canada has brought to my uh, seller hub. And I'm very um, honored to be able to reach out to them and give them a product that they desire. You have to think about our neighbors up north. They are identical in consumption here in the States. And however, they have a rougher terrain, they have colder elements, um, they're, they're grouped together more, so they're more congested in those larger cities that are scattered throughout. Do your research and you'll find this out. They have more, they have a higher uh, disposable amount of income than we do. 58% of us Americans can't even save a measly thousand dollars for an emergency fund. Uh, of course, we have a lot of more expenditures, we have lower pay. Canadians are just happier. And I don't understand it. I mean, there's 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 cold air and water and snow, and that would make me miserable. I would not enjoy myself once whatsoever. Uh, but on the flip side of that, you have the uh, to the south, our southern um, neighbors, the Mexican platform. I have not experimented with, only for the mere fact, in my opinion, I do not have a positive thought on their postal system. And uh, I don't know if that would be the right thing to say, but that's what I'm going to say. And if I've offended you and you work for the Mexican post office, um, sorry. But the, uh, the, the thing with that is that I don't want any issues with customers saying that they didn't receive the item. Not saying that there's a scam there, but at least this way, I don't have to deal with that headache. I deal with enough of it here in the States with all those one percenters that try to get over on everybody. Um, the, the Canadian one, haven't had a problem yet. Knock on wood. Uh, but I am very pleased uh, to have that opportunity. So I have three ways of doing things on Amazon, and that's with Amazon directly here in the States, the business side of it, and the Canadian platform. Uh, I, I'm not looking yet to go overseas because of shipping. Shipping is very, very expensive. I went over the numbers today, and I've only profited 33% of my gross and um, a good large percentage, I would say, of the remaining amount, uh, I would say 70% of it, uh, maybe 80% of it, has gone to the post office. So um, it's a quite a bit of money, a, a tremendous amount of money. And it's like one of the major expenses that I have. And it's probably a, a thing that, that I'm going to have to research and how to get around a few corners. Um, they are very adamant about collecting their pennies. I did recently receive an email just uh, within the last couple of days for a product that was four ounces um, undersized or under I underpaid or something like that. And it was a $4.42 difference. Uh, so four ounces. It was a two pound point four ounce package and I put one pound 15 I should have went to but it I, I take it back it was 0.5 off like you know half a, a half of a whole which is actually not because it would have been a 0.8 so my math is not correct right there but it was five ounces away from being correct and it cost me an additional four dollars and 42 cents now did I do it on purpose no I usually kind of round up anyway. It's just I don't like those headaches and those surprises when you you know they like oh you didn't pay. But I did have in the past where they sent me an email saying that I overpaid and they credited me like six dollars. And I think I've mentioned that in a previous video. So I wanted to show you something. Um, 
So I got a bunch of these from Target on the clearance, right? I put them on Amazon. I was selling them. Now the larger ones, there was a 30 pack of these, sold every single one of them. I paid $1.98 for them. Um, these I paid less than. I think these were less than a dollar. I haven't sold any of these. I put them on Amazon for $9.99. I got booted off uh, because somebody claimed that it was their product or something. So there was a couple of us that got booted. But all the bigger ones, the 30 pack, I sent up to Canada. Sold them all for $27. That was a good markup. Now these I got from the Dollar Tree. I paid a dollar. I thought, oh, these would do well. No. Another incident on Amazon. Somebody said, I can't imagine that you would want to sell my product. And I said, well, sure. There's definitely two types of people in this world. One, there's losers that don't really do what they're supposed to do. And two, there's winners. Winners who really don't give a crap whether or not they sell it on Amazon or on eBay. There you go. There's my take. <laughs> it's, it's a rainy day. I have only had a cup of coffee. I'm going to get myself another one. But anyway, guys, I wanted to basically just run that across to you. Open up the gates a little bit. Explore into the Canadian wilderness. Don't get eaten by a polar bear. Anyway, I don't think... What is that? A pirate? Like, Arr! Polar bears! Land hole! Let's go! Uh, there's no penguins in the north, though. So you don't have to worry about penguins. They're not going to get you. But there's yetis. Huh. And oh, don't you know, they got mooses up there. Yeah. Oh, you're going to ride the moose? You're going to need a ladder for that moose. Anyway. <laughs> it's one of those days. So, thanks for watching. I have about five, six weeks off, non-paid, okay, forced time away from the shop where I make my bread and butter. This is a hobby, obviously, but now this is a chore. So hopefully in the next six weeks with the amount of videos that I'm going to try to put out there, I'm going to show some sort of accomplishment. Now, if you've noticed, the fish tank is gone. I sold it on OfferUp uh, the other day, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, I took the best offer. I did, I did, I did indeed. A 10 spot. So I save my little earnings separate from everything, and I try to tally it up. And I keep a, you know, I try to keep a little cash fund available for the fam so that they can go ahead and, uh, you know, have pizza or movies or whatever they want. Now, the other thing I'm going to do today, too, is I'm going to go to CVS and I'm going to shop for some items. Um, there's some particular things that I sell very well on Amazon uh, food wise. And I'm going to use my coupons for that. And I'll maybe brush up on that on the haul and that. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.